It was a really weird way to find out that the police do know how to not shoot people. It was a really weird, that's how we had to, that was, I think that was the proof in the pudding for all the nation. We're not just talking about America, for globally. Like that, that police, they do know how to police without killing people. Black people are out here protesting for our lives, for our rights. Those folks yesterday was crybabies protesting because their candidate lost. You cannot compare the two. It's no comparison. We're actually protesting because we're killed unjustly and nothing happens. They're protesting because their damn candidate lost and he's a sore, lo a sore loser who can't accept his L. And you guys are supporting that behavior. So my experience, uh, we were over-policed. Uh, we were out here um, in fairly large numbers in the beginning. Uh, we were severely over-policed by uh, Fort Worth PD. That time the officers shot us with flashbangs, rubber bullets, tasers, any weapon. They shot those items at innocent protesters who had damaged anything, who had done anything, who were just expressing their right. Um, when that occurred, um, I mean, it was really a turning point, I think, for a lot of us who have been fighting for justice to see that instead of Fort Worth allowing us to express ourselves, because please remember a few months prior, Erin Dean had, has murdered a Tatiana Jefferson in her home when she, as she played a video game with her eight-year-old nephew on a non-emergency call. So a black woman was just murdered by this very police department. Instead of them seeing what was happening across the nation, realizing that they too had an officer who had just killed an innocent black person, they decided to use force and punish those of us who were speaking up for our rights.